Hey friends, okay, so <laughs> this is real life. I did my workout this morning and I had all these plans. I was gonna take a shower, I was gonna put on makeup, I was gonna have my life together. And then I got a phone call from the school that the boy's eyeball is hurting and he's a pirate. So I walked to school and got him. And now I'm still sweaty from my workout, but that's the most perfect, the perfect way to talk to you guys about what coaching is and what it isn't and kind of share my own story um, because this is real life and it's not perfect. And I think that, that we get in our own way. Hey friend. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to go live probably like four times over the next couple days. So you can pop in as you have time. And if you have any questions or anything comes up, if there's something that you've been chewing on for a while, you know what it is. You can go ahead and drop a comment in one of the videos, or you can ask in the group, or you can even secret squirrel myself or whatever coach invited you here. So if you don't know me, Hi, my name is Sarah, and um, I have been a coach for, oh my gosh, it'll be four years this June, which is kind of crazy. It's gone so fast. It's totally changed my whole life, and I was the girl that was completely not interested, that kept getting invited, and I was just like, no, like, why would I do that? Like, I don't want to be salesy. I don't want to have to, like, be some product pimp. I don't want to, like... Home workouts don't work. Like I don't. I like to chew my food. I had all these objections and all these reasons why I couldn't and shouldn't do this, um, but really it was all based in just not understanding it and also fear. I have struggled with fear my entire life, and it kept me in kind of a box. It kept me from stepping into my power. It kept me from stepping into who I wanted to be because what if so-and-so judged me or what if I failed or what if I looked stupid? Like I was so worried all the time and that's just like dumb. But I think a lot of people feel that way. And so we just kind of stick with the norm. We do the comfortable thing for as long forever, which is kind of sad. So if you hear any of yourself in my story, I get it. I get it. And if there's something that we can talk about, let's do it. But otherwise, just grab something to drink. I brought some unicorn juice. I love the shaker cup. Isn't it fun? Um, I have some unicorn juice and I'm also finishing up my veggie shake and I'm just going to chat a little. Isn't this fun? Okay. So like I started to say before I went off on a tangent, my name is Sarah and I've been a coach for just about four years. It'll be four years of summer. I have three humans and we recently moved from Arizona to Montana. And the crazy cool thing about coaching is that it doesn't matter where you go, you can do it wherever you're at. You can do it wherever you're at. You can do it whatever stage you're in. You don't have to have some massive transformation. It comes down to the fact that you are a human and you're working on your journey. And so many of us are, are in the middle of that, right? Like we're working on a transformation or we're trying to like change our self-talk or we're trying to maybe lose the baby weight. There's something in our lives that we're trying to work on. And coaching is something that is such a blessing because it shifts the focus onto you and it helps you really find the tribe and the community and the tools that you need to rock your journey. And that's why I love it so much. So I was never into fitness like ever. And then I had all my babies. They were pretty close in age. Everyone's like 20 months apart. That was the plan. I was a breeder. Um, and then I was like over 200 pounds and super unhappy and really frustrated. Like, and I feel, I still to this day feel bad saying that because kids and babies are such a blessing. And as mothers, we're not supposed to complain about that. But it's true, like it just felt suffocating and I couldn't get traction and I didn't know where to begin and I felt so isolated because for so long I was focused on my career and then all of a sudden I have all these kids and we're just kind of, it was just weird. So I started my journey, I started working out, I actually got involved with Fit for Mom, we had a local group in Yuma and I had a triple stroller and I would strap my kids in and that was, that's what I did every single day. I had some community. I had some fitness. It was just about starting where I was and showing up to the journey. And I started to fall in love with the process. And one of my friends, one of my friends, our girls were the same age, and she was a beach body coach. Get back. Get behind me, Satan, right? And she was like, Sarah, like, you have to try this. You have to check this out. And I was like, yeah, no thanks. Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. I like to chew my food. I'm not interested in your, you know, home workouts because... I, for years, had bought the DVDs, not the Beachbody DVDs, but I had other DVDs that just collected dust and honestly made me feel bad about myself because I couldn't find the momentum, I couldn't get, I couldn't get motivated to start doing them or to stick with them, and so to me, they just didn't work. Home workouts weren't legit, they didn't work. These creepy shake things, it's all bogus, it was a big scam, it was too expensive. 
Um, and she was so persistent. She would not take no for an answer. And I loved her. I really did. And so finally I was like, fine, fine. I'll come over and I'll do your freaking workout. So we did a workout. It was 25 minutes and another girl came too. I wonder what ever happened to that girl. I don't know. Anyway, um, we did, we did the workout and then she made me her creepy superfood shake and I loved it, but I was not about that life. Thank you very much. I I was happy with my Fit for Mom stuff. I'm going to work out of the park. It works for my life. My kids like it. Like that was my sweet spot. That's what I was comfortable with. And God forbid I rock the boat because I was so afraid. So I, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. And there was a new workout coming out. It's actually Pio. And so I really wanted to do it because I love doing yoga. And I wasn't getting any of that at my Fit for Mom stuff. And by this point in my journey, my friends, I've actually become... A, a stroller strides fit for mom instructor because I just really felt passionately about helping other women get that they weren't alone. And I liked that it, you didn't have to be perfect and you didn't have to have this like, you know, these, this crazy, this creepy six pack. Like I wanted to shine the light for other people. And I was that girl on Instagram that was just sharing my fitness journey and on Facebook, just sharing quotes to inspire other people. I didn't get it. I didn't get it, but that's where my heart was. And that's what I wanted to do was to help other women see that they had like, you know, that they could just get started. It doesn't have to be this huge all or nothing thing. It's just about one step at a time. Does it sound familiar? It's still the same thing that I preach now four years into this. But, um, so I got Pio and I was still doing fit for mom stuff. And I was just like totally adamantly opposed to joining any kind of multi-level marketing thing. I had been trying to sell, um, essential oils and I sucked ass. I was terrible. I love them, but they just weren't my passion. Like I still use them to this day. I'm actually using peppermint right now for my headache. Um, but I just wasn't any good at it. And so you try one thing sometimes and you think, oh my gosh, I'm sucking at this. Like this just isn't for me. That was me. I had all these excuses. I had all these fears, but I was doing Pio at home in the evenings and I was drinking my superfood shake and I really liked it, but I was so scared. <sighs> So I just kind of like kept going, kept going, kept going. I had this amazing butt transformation. If you'd like to see it, I'm happy to share. Put on my tip jar. Um, and I was watching other people on Instagram who were coaches and they were sharing their journeys and they were super relatable and seemed to be having a really great time and their lives were, seemed amazing and they had this tribe. And quite frankly, they were making money. And that spoke to me because... As a Fit for Mom instructor, I was making $20 a class and I was investing hours a, a day. And my kids were starting to kind of like, it just wasn't the sweet spot anymore. It had become one of those things that instead of I get to do, I have to do, which for me, that's the fastest way to rob me of my joy. If I have to do something like the laundry this morning, I had to do that. That's not fun. I don't like that. So I finally put on my big girl panties and I actually got into a sneak peek um, that another coach hosted kind of like this. And I was a fly on the wall. And I listened and I thought and I had all these reasons why it wouldn't work for me and I just couldn't do it. And then finally I said something to my husband. Like I was like, oh, I just, I want to do this, but I'm scared to do it. And he was like, then freaking do it. Like it's your journey. <laughs> if, if you hate it, well then you quit. And I was like, that just kind of released me. Like there was like the expectation of having to be amazing dissipated. And so I said, yes, I said yes to being a coach and at that point, I had been a fly on the wall for an entire year. I had been doing Pio for an entire year. And so I ordered the 21 Day Fix Extreme and I went all in with my coaching journey. And it's completely transformed my life and my body and my family and like the, all the things in my life. I used to be so negative and so fearful and so anxious and so stuck. And even though I still have some of those traits, like I'm still an anxious person, it's just wired into who I am, it's how I was raised, it's in my DNA. But I have so many great tools now that have helped me so much. So coaching isn't just about you posting like this. No, it's not that at all. It truly is about you sharing your journey. It's about you showing up to your workout every single day. It's about you honoring the journey and not necessarily just being there for the end product, the end result. It's taking a step back and seeing the big picture and recognizing that this is a super crazy cool opportunity. This is like stupid, you guys. The fact that like I essentially get paid to work out in my living room. You guys, I get to make social media posts that inspire other people and help other people on their journeys 
and I make an income and I'm growing an empire and I can create freedom. And the way I coach doesn't mean that's the way you have to coach. So I want you to take away the pressure and the fear because we will give you a roadmap. If this is something that you've been chewing on or something that you wanna start or even explore, there's no contract. There's no like you have to sign your child away and you have to do it a certain way. We will give you the tools to rock your journey. If that's just your personal journey and you, or if you want to like make it bigger, well, that's cool too. That's amazing. And we will help you navigate the journey. But your business journey, coaching, is a direct reflection of your fitness journey. Not whether or not you're having success, but whether or not you're willing to commit the time and the energy and the patience and the consistency and the sweat and the hustle. If you're willing to go all in with those things to be 100% on your own journey, imperfect as it is, that's where you find success, not just in business, but like in your own personal journey. Cause I feel like for me for so long, I put so much pressure on it. Like it had to be perfect or it wasn't worth doing. It had to be a hundred percent. I had to have this epic transformation in order to prove like my worth or if I was ha- to show that I was having success. And that's just stupid. I've surrendered that like coaching and all the emphasis we put on growing yourself as a person that will transform your life faster than anything else because everything comes down to mindset. And so if you join our tribe, if you decide to work with me or one of my coaches, you'll have so many amazing resources, but again, it's all self-driven. So if you're kind of like, okay, who are you looking for? So I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm looking for. And if this is you, well, then we should have a conversation or you need to talk to one of your coaches and just start the conversation because I kick myself that it took me an entire year to go all in. I like, I, I don't know why I was so scared because it's so amazing and it's helped me find like so many amazing friends and it's just really helped me discover who Sarah is outside of motherhood and outside of being his wife and outside of being like the Starbucks person. Like, who was I? I didn't know. I, and I, if I hadn't found this, honestly, I still wouldn't know. I'd be the girl that does the laundry and the one that scoops the litter boxes, but I'm so much more than that. And as a mama, it's so important to put your own journey first. It's not selfish. It's really not. When you take care of you, when you take care of you and put on your own oxygen mask, you can help so many other people, it's a ripple effect. So the women I'm looking for, they are fun. They are fun and they are kind of ridiculous because if you followed me for a while, you know that I'm a little I'm a little weird, but that's okay, I like to rock it. I'm looking for people who are gonna be consistent, who are committed to their journey, who aren't afraid to work hard with your fitness, with your personal development, with just your commitment to showing up and being your most imperfect but best self every single day. I'm looking for people who are clear communicators, who like social media, because if you don't like social media, well, this could be tricky. You could do this business face-to-face. Personally, I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. I absolutely love the fact that I can use my phone as a buffer. It protects my energy. It protects my space. I can turn it on. I can turn it off. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. So I'm looking for women who love animals, are spiritual, are, like I already said, fun, just committed to your own journey. I don't don't even know. I have such a huge list. We're not going to spend hours talking about my list, but really it's important to me that you are committed to your journey and not being some carbon copy of me. That's weird. I don't want you to be my clone. I'm not looking for that at all. I want someone who has belief and is willing to show up and do the hard thing. And it's just so freaking crazy cool. So that's kind of my story. That is my story. I've been doing this for almost four years and I would do it for free. And luckily I don't have to do it for free. I've made, I've made some really great strides in creating some financial freedom for my family. And at this point, I'm going to drop the Beachbody disclaimer that Beachbody I, and myself, we don't guarantee any level of income. It's all about your own skill and your consistency and your, what's the cat doing? And you being committed to showing up every single day. So there's no guarantees. And this is not a get quick rich thing at all. Like if you're here to make a quick buck, this is the wrong thing for you. We are a multi-level marketing business, but it's driven by heart and it's driven by you being authentic and real. It's not about selling at all. No, which was one of my big fears. I was like, I don't want to sell. I don't want to sell. I don't want to be a pimp. I don't sell anything. I sell myself, not in a hookery way. But if you like me, if you if my message resonates with you, well, then you'll choose to work with me. And if it doesn't, well, that's okay. There's a thousand other people out there for you. 
a thousand other people that you could work with, seriously. So if you're worried about that, if you're worried about how do you share and how do you do this? Like I said, we have a roadmap and we'll help you navigate the system. Right now we are on day 13 of a coach mentorship, which is a newer thing that I've started. And it's been really fun. It's been really great for me as well because we're all works in progress and we all have something that we're stuck on. And so we get to work through it together. There's so much tribe. There's so much community. It's a team. It's not a one person thing. But again, If you work well alone, well, that's cool because you're on your own most of the time. Everything is virtual. All right, what else did I want to talk to you guys about? So I don't want to be a salesperson, right? I sold oils and I was terrible at it. This is different. This is not selling. Some people do it like selling and I don't think those people are appealing or attractive. And personally, I don't think they have long-term success because you have to build trust in this business. You, first and foremost, have to be a work in progress. You have to be willing to be vulnerable and to share it. And that sounds scary, because it is. But everything worth doing, everything worth having, it comes from a place sometimes of uncomfort, discomfort. And it's okay, we will show you what to do. But you have to be willing to kind of let your cracks open a little and just be you because there's someone out there that needs to hear exactly what your message is or what your struggle is or what you've conquered in your life. Like your test truly is your testimony. And I'm a believer that everything that happens to you, sometimes random awful things happen to us, but it's, uh, it's our power to like share it with other people and to use the hard as something that can really shift someone else's life. Um, okay. So I started out I was not a coach right away. Like I said, it took me a whole year to get over my own fear (laughs) and to be willing to be like, I volunteer as tribute. (laughs) And so I was a challenger. So lots of you are in my group. You are one of my clients and you've been working on your fitness journey. Maybe you've been kind of half-assed. Maybe you're start, stop. You don't quite know what to do. And so you're like, oh my gosh, like if I'm not having success right now on my journey, why would I be a coach Some people come in for a discount. You get a 25% discount on things like unicorn juice or your superfoods. You know, you don't have to have this like rocking body transformation. You don't. I think that the best coaches are the people who are new, the people who've had a really broken, rocky journey because that's the majority of people. Like you can't relate to the fitness model who has this perfect life and a million dollars in the bank No, but you can relate to the mom who has a little and isn't getting enough sleep and it starts stopping. That's just like, that's relatable. That's relatable. And so I think it's really important to be a challenger, which means that you're in our groups, that you're committed to your journey, that you're focused on showing up and it enjoying the process. And when I say enjoying the process, I don't mean that you should be like, yeah, I got to work out. But I mean, honoring the journey. Like sometimes it's hard today. If I freaking struggled. It was a 20 minute workout and it took me like 36 minutes and I modified and I stopped and I was hands on knees, but that doesn't mean that my journey isn't going the way it's supposed to. It doesn't mean that I'm failing. It doesn't mean that I shouldn't be a coach. Do you agree? So if your journey has been start stopping, maybe you need this to level up. Maybe you need this to hold yourself to a different standard, to have more accountability, to have more tribe. I know for me, if I'm not in the light, if I'm not the one saying this is what we do, I'm the first one to tap out. I'm the first one to hide at the back of the class so nobody sees how often I put my hands on my knees. And again, that doesn't mean that I can't be a coach. Like clearly, I'm a good coach and I've been at this four years and I've seen success. So I'm telling you that no matter where you're at or whatever, how much, however you're struggling in your life, it doesn't mean this isn't for you. It's not for you if you hate people. It's not for you if you absolutely refuse to work out. It's not for you if you have no interest in becoming a better person and shining the light for other people. This is not. You should do something else. But if you do want to be inspiring, if you do want to find traction on your journey, if you do want to fall in love with yourself and the process, this is something you should consider. This is definitely something you should consider. So being a challenger before you become a coach, I think is a really awesome thing. If you are not in any of our groups and you're watching this and you're like, but I want it all, you can have it all. There's no one size fits all. There's no right or wrong way to do this as long as you continue to work on your journey. That's the most critical part. You have to be coachable and you have to be willing 
to get uncomfortable and to do the thing, whatever that is. If that's your fitness or that's your personal development or maybe it's going live or sharing a piece of your story, like that shit is scary. It's scary for everyone. It's not like I've been a rock star at stuff forever. No, I sucked ass in the beginning. I sent out messages that were terrible, but we're all works in progress. And so my years of experience can help you because I can shortcut it for you. I can be like, this is what worked for me. And this is what you do. And obviously you put your own spin and your own flair on it because we're not clones like robot people. That's weird. But I'm just saying success leaves clues, my friends. So community. So when you join us, you get access to so many different things, which is super cool. Um, the majority of you that I'm looking at right now are probably already in our fit club. So our fit club is a virtual Facebook group. It's a ladies only group as our coach team grows we're starting more and more groups. And so some of them are co-ed. That's the cool thing about this business is you can make it whatever you want it to be. So if you know, you're going to target husbands and wives, that's cool too. For me, I love helping women. That's my heart at moms or women who are just getting started or are trying to refocus people who want to work on their mindset. Like that's my jam. And so those are the people that I'm going to attract. Those are the people that I really want to help. So you can do whatever you want, but I'm just letting you know that we have so much available for you. So like I start, I'm starting to say, before I started to follow a squirrel, <laughs> we have our Fit Club community. We also have the Positive Vibe Tribe community, which is just kind of like a mindset positivity group. And um, you get access to that as well. What else? I have an Instagram group. We also have an app that's not on Facebook. So if you're thinking, well, I don't use Facebook very much or I don't like to go on Facebook because it's super negative, that's okay. There's plenty of ways to do this to help other people get momentum, including yourself, because accountability and tribe is so critical. I think that that's why I love this so much is because there's so much community. There's so much community, but the introvert in me likes that it's a little bit away. I don't have to go to a group. I don't have to go to a meetup. I don't have to turn it on. Like it's on my phone. My phone is my phone is my office. My phone is my community. My phone is my umbilical cord. My phone is the thing that brings the people I need closer to me. But at the same time, I can disconnect and be like, peace out. So you get lots of community and then you get home workouts, you guys. If you haven't done our workouts, you need to try them. There is literally something for everyone. I was the girl in the beginning, like I said, the home workouts, they didn't work for me. I was like, that's bullshit. That's a waste of time and money. No, no, no thanks. I'm good. Um, but then once I actually followed the nutrition plan that comes with the program, once I actually followed something that was designed by someone who knows what they're talking about, I got killer results. I got amazing results. And I know that my results would be even better if I was 100% with my nutrition, but that's just not who I am. I'm not a 100% person. I used to be, and I used to be, I strive for perfection all the time, but it was killing me and it wasn't fun. And I believe that this should be something that is enjoyable, that is enjoyable, that does lift you up and make you feel good, not bad because you had the French fries or you drank the sugary coffee or whatever. So it's all about moderation, but home workouts absolutely will give you killer traction if you show up and you do the work. And there's something for everyone. So if you don't already have Beachbody on demand, there's everything. There's stuff from like dance workouts to family workouts to yoga to weightlifting. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. And starting on the 8th, they're actually, well, starting on the first, technically, they're refilming the 21 day fix and the 21 day fix extreme. So if you've done those programs before, they're going to do them again and they're going to be in live time. So you'll go through the process kind of like we just did with like 80 day obsession or transform 20, if you've done any of those programs. So I'm super pumped that that's going to be happening. And so you can get early access to them if you're interested. If you are, you can drop a comment or you can message me or your coach. Um, but our next group is going to be focused around that. It's going to be focused around doing the 21 day fix. So if you don't want to get the new ones, that's cool. You can do the old ones as well. Again, being a coach isn't about pimping a product. It's about giving you guys tools and having a supported place for you to plug into. I'm not your mom. I can't make you do anything, but I'm going to believe in you probably a lot sooner than you're going to believe in yourself. And I'm going to create a place that's positive and inspiring that you, you can choose to plug into. I can't force you to do anything, but I will believe in you and I will share with you the things that have worked for me. That's what coaching it comes down to. It's just, it's like a referral, right? You're just sharing the things that have worked for you. It's pretty cool. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, so that's just a little bit 
kind of a lot. I told you a lot of things. I'll go into detail later today about some more things. We can talk about more fears. We can talk about um, whether or not it's a pyramid scheme. I hear that a lot. That was one of my fears as well. So we'll dig into that. But if there's anything that you want me to cover over the next couple days, drop me a comment or shoot a message because more than likely, if you're in this group, you're kind of my cup of tea and we probably have the same fears. And you know, the, the only way to like deal with it is to put it out there and just chat about it. So you can ask me anything and I will answer my friends. I hope that today is a great day for you. I hope that you make the decision to show up to your journey and to honor it. We're not befores and afters. And that's what coaching taught me before when I was getting started on my fitness journey, it was all about, you know, I got to get this. I got to have this transformation. I need to fit into these pants. I need to be this number on the scale. And all those things made me just feel bad. They made me feel shame. They made me feel like I wasn't good enough. And becoming a coach and doing all the work, all the personal growth stuff, it's like, it, this is part of the journey. And we go through seasons and sometimes it's easier and sometimes it's harder. And sometimes you do get the transformation and sometimes it takes longer. Sometimes your transformation isn't a physical one, but it's all about finding your, your progress over perfection and giving yourself grace and honoring the journey and knowing that me showing up today, even if it was struggle bus, even if I did modify, even if I did hands on knees, it's still me, it's still me winning my race because I'm choosing to show up and I'm choosing to put on my oxygen mask. So if you're worried about having to be perfect enough or have some kind of transformation, you can just shelf that fear right now, because I'm telling you, I am so far from perfect. And if I had waited until I was perfect, I never ever would have been able to do this. And I love it so freaking much. Like it's completely changed my life and brought so many cool people to me that I never would have like been able to connect with if it wasn't for this. So I'm super freaking grateful that my pushy ass coach <laughs> kept saying, you need to try this. You need to try this. You need to try this. You'd be so great. You'd be so great. And I was like, get behind me, Satan. I'm not interested. So freaking glad she was pushy. So if I keep inviting you, if I keep following up with you, if, you, if I keep sending you virtual fist bumps, it's because I believe in you. And I know that you can do this without a shadow of a doubt. It just comes down to whether or not you're willing to do it. So if you have any questions, drop them. Otherwise, I will pop back in later after I've had a shower. And maybe I'm a little more presentable and we'll go forward, but I'm super pumped to spend the next couple days with you guys. I hope, like I started to say, that you rock your journey today, that you drink your water, you remind yourself of your truths, and that you celebrate the process. 